we're down here at Mewbourne Field with two of the Georgia Tech seniors, Jessica Weaver and Christy Jones. And guys, it's been four years. Can you believe in just a couple of days it's going to be your senior day? Um, I'm kind of overwhelmed by it, to be honest with you. I can't believe that it's already over as far as school. And um, But we're look, uh, looking forward to some exciting events the next couple of weeks. Yeah, the, these four years have flown by. It seems like just yesterday we were freshmen, you know, carrying the buckets over at the old field. And look how far we've come. We have this beautiful field and a great team and two new seniors that we're graduating with that weren't here our freshman year. So it's been an exciting four years. Just talk about what you've heard from other people. And I know you've seen three different senior days and, you know, just the emotions that you go through. You have your family out there with you. You hear all your career stats and everything read. And, you know, as soon as that, it's a couple pictures. And then, you know, you're taking the field back for a doubleheader against Florida State. Um, it's kind of surreal. I mean, you go through it the three years before you and you watch it and you don't ever think it's really going to be you. And then here it is and we're, what, four days away? So... It's um, it's kind of nerve-wracking, but yeah, I think you can't really prepare for it, and it just you know you're up there, all the emotions hit you at once, then you have to turn it around real quick because you got two two games to win that day. So, Jess, let's start with you. What's been the most memorable point of your career so far? Um, I would have to say our freshman year, whenever we uh, were had a, having a uh, kind of a rough year, um, but we um, took two from Georgia and kind of like the turnaround of our season that was really memorable so um i'd probably say sophomore year accs just because our freshman year was such a different season compared to our sophomore year and just coming back that sophomore year and just winning accs was a cool feeling well christy for you just talk about this year and especially where you know, you guys were kind of picked a little, picked to win the ACC, but nationally a little lower than, you know, in previous previous years. And, you know, you guys are right on track and, you know, number one seed in next week's ACC tournament and, you know, right on the edge of getting another number one seed for a regional and a chance to host. Just talk about where this program has come from when you were being recruited in your freshman year here and, you know, where you guys are at this point. I think every year here has been a little different. Freshman year, we struggled. Sophomore year, you know, we were all surprised when we did so well. And then junior year, um, we relied on a couple of people. But I think this year, um, we have like one through nine, you know, strong players and a lot of people on the bench to come in and play too. So I think that's really going to help us in postseason, having um, anyone can step up at any time and not just relying on one person. Jess, for you, just talk about the depth on this year's team. and. You know, you've been starting a lot in the last month, so behind the plate here. And, you know, chance last weekend you got in there, the game-winning home run, three hits on Sunday. And, you know, you had Caitlin Jordan coming in and, you know, hitting well for the last week or so. And just talk about just the depth on this team and, you know, where you guys and can go. Um, like Christy was saying, I mean, this year it's one through nine, and we have a lot of people on the bench. And uh, I think it's – the, the best thing that we have going for us this year is the fact that it's a total team effort every time we step on the field, that um, the people on the field are, you know, pumped and ready, but the people that are standing in the dugout cheering the people on the field on, they, they are always ready for their turn and um, ready and willing to, to give whatever they can. And so um, I think that's a huge difference for us this year and, and not just having to rely on one or two people to, to get the job done, but anybody at any given time can step up. So it's great. For both of you guys, what's next? I know you don't want to think about beyond softball, beyond this year, and it's a scary thought, but, you know, what's next for both of you? Um, well, I am kind of confused as to what I really want to do. Um, I'm going to take probably a couple weeks to maybe the whole summer off to kind of figure it out, so I'm um, fortunate to have that ahead. <laughs> well, I'm not going to graduate till December, but afterwards I'm looking to get into technical sales. Um, I'd love to stay in Atlanta, but, you know, I'll go wherever my career takes me. Last question for both of you guys. Do you feel you've left this program off in better shape than when you came in? I would have to say yes. Um, uh, when we first came in, it was, uh, I feel like it was a completely different atmosphere. And um, uh, it's, it's definitely changed, and I would say for the better in, in all aspects. So, yeah. I definitely agree. I don't know if uh, we changed it or if it changed us, but maybe a little both. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thanks, guys, and congratulations on great career so far, and you know, good luck in the upcoming postseason. Thank, Thank you. you.
now visiting with the other two seniors on this year's Georgia Tech softball team and Christine Preby and Kristen Atkins. And a little different story for you guys. Both of you transferred in different years, both from the University of Florida. And just talk about your decisions to transfer here. And, you know, now you've joined up with a couple of four-year seniors and Jessica Weaver and Christy Jones and you're getting set for your senior day. Um, this was definitely one of the best decisions I could have made. Um, I love being here at Tech and, um, you know, I kind of wish I was here the whole time, but um, I really think that me and Kristen have both had a lot of fun since we've been here. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. You know, um, I can't say that I chose Georgia Tech. I think that it more or less chose me, and I'm better off for it. Um, I learned a lot when I was at Florida, but I've learned a lot while I've been here too, and I'm a much happier person. Well, Christine, you've been here for two years, Kristen, three years, but just talk about what your number one career highlight at Georgia Tech, what stands out at you the most right now? Um, probably last year when uh, we were playing Oregon and uh, I had a hit to tie the game against them. That was a very exciting moment for me. Um, wow, well, it's really difficult to pinpoint one moment you play so much time out here. Um, but I think probably my favorite is my sophomore year when I first got here and we ended up winning the ACC's. Um, no one really expected it from us and when I transferred no one expected us to do anything at all from me personally and so it was just kind of like proven that I was right all along. Well you guys never got to experience playing at the old field and what these the other guys had to go through but just what you've heard and where everything is now the new locker room and everything just talk about where this program has come. I mean the facilities here are just remarkable um, I feel lucky, so lucky to play here. And uh, I know that the, the other field wasn't exactly the favorite. You know, you had to drive over there uh, from the locker. And um, it's kind of cool that Kristen was the first person to hit a home run off of this field. So, uh, yeah, I, I definitely like the field here. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely very blessed to have the facilities that we do and to be able to train here and work here. And, um, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's awesome. Now this season, you guys both went through it last year, and Kristen, you two years ago, and you know you guys have been on right on the edge of breaking through. And do you think this year's team has that chance to do it? Absolutely. Uh, our team has a lot of character, and um, I have a full confidence that we can go go the distance this year. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Any team can win on any given day, and I think that this is our year, and we've got the fight in us. Uh, that when we have our backs against the wall, we're pushing back, and I think that we could really do it this year. So, Not to rush the next couple weeks and what will hopefully be a long postseason run along for you guys, but have you thought at all about what's next and what's going to be coming up this summer and as you look upon once you graduate? Well, um, next year I, I will be here for a whole other year uh, in school. So this summer I'm kind of just taking a break. I'm probably going to be playing a few tournaments here and there. Um, and uh, other than that, just just kind of transferring from going from playing, having softball your life to to finding something else out there, I guess. Yeah, uh, for me, I'm I'm planning on going to Italy and playing the summer, which will be fun. That'll be a, a good life experience, I think. And uh, when I get back, I've got a few offers on the table that I'm not really at liberty to completely discuss, but we'll see where they take me, and I'm excited for them. Well, thanks, guys, and congratulations on great careers, and good luck in the upcoming postseason.